Dear Diary, is my life a dream? If you are wondering why I ask this, then you should hear my story. I'm seeking after more and in the same time I want to have it over. Days feel like years or time doesn't exist. I will start at the beginning. So where I left my last video, in Bodrum, a city in the southwest of Turkey, directly on the Sea of Marmara, which I was recommended on a two-day truck trip. Bodrum is quite a touristical place, so it's, yeah, I realized sometimes you need money to enjoy a place more. I figured out a lot of time you spend money on being in a restaurant or just, like drinking something and this is sometimes why I realize I don't need so much time in a city to be like one hour, you know, like one day is enough and then I already can leave and uh, go to some nice nature place where you have more quiet and relaxed areas. But in total it's quite a nice city. I think I didn't show you, like it has olive trees, it has um, mandarin trees, then the pomegranate trees and the palm trees. What is my favorite? It's wonderful here. I live on a mountain where the wild dogs and cows are my friends. I get electricity and water from the gardener who has his business below me and always invites me to a tea or coffee when I walk past. But many travel destinations in Turkey are still waiting for me and there are only 20 days left before I want to be in Georgia at my workaway place. I had a restless night. He's so sweet that he's protecting me. Stop. Okay, please don't bark. It's good. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he like yeah. barking for hours. It's good. It's no, good. not for hours, but for it's half good. an hour. Yeah. Uh, so let's <coughs> hope he stops and then he just starts again. Okay. <coughs> it's good. Okay, good night. It's good. <coughs> it's November 9th, 21. Everything goes quickly this morning. I leave my mountain suite and pick up my batteries and say goodbye. As you surely know, my journey as a hitchhiker continues to Pamukkale, a limestone terrace landscape northeast of me. I get to know Abdullah, a delivery truck driver who has been on the road for 10 hours. He can also speak a little bit of English, which he has acquired from all the hitchhikers he brought with him. The landscape changes quickly. Olive plantations become coniferous forests Large palm trees become marble mountains. I keep him in line and he tells me about Pamukkale, which is very well known for a tourist point of view, but there is a much better place than this. He takes me to Densley, what is the closest town to Pamukkale. After saying goodbye, it quickly becomes clear to me that the day is drawing to a close because the herds are returning from their day's journey. On my search for a suitable place to sleep, I discover one of my favorite fruits, pomegranates. Here they grow like vermin. I pack my pockets full. Here it looks already quite nice. So it's, yeah, more a luxury question. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I want to come a little bit closer to Pomukale, where I want to go tomorrow. And so. I just uh, walk a little bit further and then I pitch my BB and my top to sleep there. Which I have already mastered very well after 10 months. Good night on tomorrow it goes to Pamukkale. Hey! And now I will sleep. <laughs> Hello. 
Before the first rays of sun cover the land, I'm already on my feet. I have to walk a bit over the highway where Jingles takes me with him. But he doesn't take me to Bamukale. We drive to a two-headed woman bathrobe throwing, which Dennis Lee is known for. What explains me later a hitchhike ride. Once there, I unload the sacks of fabric. In the meantime, the tea is brewing and a quick breakfast is conjured up. With filled water bottles, he drops me off at the place where Abdullah had dropped me off the day before. Now I walk towards my destination. I don't go long because the taxi driver offers me the free ride. But now, first of all, I brew the long for coffee. I already see part of the extent of Pamukkale. That it will overwhelm me, I don't know yet. The ticket cost a whopping 11 euros, quite a lot for my low budget. Arrived at the foot of the glacier like methods of stone, I'm informed that it has to be entered without shoes. So shoes off and on the ice cream. Naja, it's not soft. It is round in shape, but as hard as wood. The filled limestone terraces are gigantic. Sometimes the warm and sometimes cold, which is always a surprise. I have never seen anything like this before, and I understand the tourists' rush. time you are overwhelmed by these white round limestone forms because when I arrive at the top it goes even further. Andropolis stretches over long lengths which many remain hidden because they get stuck in the water pools of limestone. For me too there are too many new things all at once so I set up another coffee break first and enjoy the view of the theater. I only spent a short time at the remains of the church, where I meet an ex sunbathing. I'm drawing back to the right moonscape, quickly swallowed a portion of pasta and the addiction to the new goes on. The light becomes perfect and the greed for the right moment all the greater. Yes, I notice for the first time that the desire to film and the urge to let off steam in this magical world minimize each other. But now it's time to find a place to sleep. So yeah, I think I'll sleep here. It's next to Pamukkale, right there is Pamukkale. You will see this tomorrow morning. But now it's too late to show you. So I think this is my good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. I wake up with hot air on a surprisingly cold night, but too hot later more. I want to walk to my next destination so I get warm. It's a calm morning, even nature gets respect from the road construction in Turkey. Where am I going? I've already forgotten the name, but I still doubt that it should be better than Pamukkale. When I reach the village of Karahayit, it occurs to me that I can hardly miss the hot spring that regulates traffic in the middle of the village as a roundabout. I decide to buy swimming trunks for the equivalent of 4 euros. 
but when I go to the hotel... Hmm, I changed my plan. <laughs> it's $10 entrance, so they made it cheaper with $7.50, but it's, I don't know, it's just a small pool, I think it's, it's not so much, I don't know. So I decide I, to I visit a waterfall not far from here. Find... Bought something to eat beforehand during a conversation with incense sticks. What's the part? Can't see it. Is it so? Yeah, 500 meters. Is it so sonst? Or is it so Geld? No, kein Geld. Kein Geld? Yeah? For the uh, no. I find out that the hot springs are at the end of the street. Can I go swimming? Not quite. It's more like foot bathing in different pools. One warm and the other a little colder. Up here it's incredibly hot. It's like 60, 50 degrees Celsius. Oh, I know. <laughs> It is time to go. The last but one prayer of the mosque can already be here. With my offline map on my smartphone, I keep correcting my eager hiking in the wrong direction. And is there a waterfall here? Can you hear the waterfall? Me either. I can't. Because I think the waterfall is in time here when water is there and not now. <laughs> a day with unexpected twists comes to an end. I enjoyed my olive, garlic, tomato, cheese, onion bread and fall asleep peacefully. I am tired. I will tell you the rest of my dream story another day. Good night. <laughs>